everybody and welcome back to my channel. The plan for today is I wanted to do a workout and then I want to take care of my nails because the shellac on there is like literally growing out so long. I have a way that I can do it at home so I'm going to test that out and then I'm going to do a lot of editing today on my channel. So that is the plan for today so we're going to start off with the workout. Okay so I just looked up 10 minutes indoor workout and got a couple of these. Ooh, I really want to do like a dance workout. I think that those would be like a lot of fun. Not really too much in the mood for a huge cardio today. I think I'm gonna go with this one, the 10 minute good morning workout, stretch and train, no equipment by Pamela Reef. I believe I said her name. Okay, so now I'm just going to set up my station. Let me just set this down right there for now. I do not have a yoga mat. I really want to get one, but I just haven't got a chance to yet. So if any of you guys have like a favorite yoga mat that you like to use, then please comment down below. Let me know because I am definitely looking for one. But until then, I'm just going to be on the floor. <laughs> Real quick, wanted to show my workout outfit. I just got these leggings and this cute top both from ross it's so comfy and it's just like non-revealing and it's just like amazing stretchy but yeah this is like one of my favorite things to work out in So that was a nice little workout. It was only 10 minutes, but honestly guys, I was struggling. <laughs> Even though it was a little hard, it actually felt really good just to get a nice workout in. Just decided to put on my Adidas shirt just to get nice and comfy because I just have kind of like a chill rest of the day. But I'm going to do my nails next, just get all these bad boys off. I looked up different ways to take off shellac nails at home. I actually found some DIY ones, so I'm just going to follow along with that. I will link the video that I am following down below. So I just looked up DIY take off shellac nail polish and I found this one and I watched it all the way through and it seems it seems like it works so I'm gonna try that out. So it says that I need cotton balls, a nail file, some aluminum foil that are like cut up into like little pieces for each nail and nail polish remover. Let's see how well this works. So they say the first step is you have to file down your actual nail. I guess this is just to like take off the first layer or something. So I filed them down, but honestly I can like peel it. And I don't know if that's like what you're supposed to do, but um, that's what I'm doing. <laughs> just like very gently just peeling all the loose ends. I'm not like ripping my nail or anything. And if they won't come up, I'm not forcing it at all. Okay, so as you can see, I just kind of scraped off and peeled off what I could, but I didn't do it like harshly, just like very gently. And then if they wouldn't come up or if I felt any pain, I completely stopped. Anyway, so that's what this is looking like. The next step now is you take the nail polish remover with the cotton balls. And you're going to take one of these aluminum foil pieces. Put it right here so you can see. The way that they're doing it is you take the cotton ball and you just kind of like soak it like that. And you're just going to set it. And you're going to take your nail and you're going to put it on here. And then you're going to wrap it up just like that. <laughs> and I'm just going to do this to the rest of my nails. 
so I have them all on now and I would definitely suggest if you have someone to help you <laughs> have someone help you because like my thumb is like it's hard for me to like wrap this stuff around basically what it is is you just have to make sure that they are completely tight around so that the nail polish can really soak into your nail and get all that shellac off now what I have to do is I just have to wait 10 minutes and then I can take these off. So I'm just going to like watch a little YouTube video or something or just chill while I wait for these to do their thing. Didn't think this through. <laughs> You guys, this has been like the longest 10 minutes like ever. <laughs> okay, so now it has been 10 minutes time to take these off. And the way that they say to do that is you have to like really rub. Okay, I don't know if that worked. Like really, really rub it. And I don't know, not, nothing seems to be coming off. Maybe after sitting in the nail polish remover for a while, it kind of makes it easier to peel off because right now nothing is coming off. So I do not know if this is a fail or not. Next, they say you're supposed to scrape it off. I do not have a scraper, but I do have tweezers and they're not really sharp or anything. All right, well, I got majority of that off. So I think that's what it's supposed to do. I think it's supposed to just kind of like loosen it up. That way, whenever you scrape it, it'll come off like a lot easier. Well, it took a while, but I got all of it off. It did get it all off and it did help it as far as like scraping off made it a lot easier because whenever I tried to peel it without the nail polish, it like literally hurt <laughs> because it was just stuck. So this definitely helped take it off, but my nails did get it like a little messed up. I don't know what that's all about, but I got it all off. There was one more step, but I don't have the stuff. So I'm just going to put lotion on my hands just to kind of help with the dryness on my nails. So now it is time for me just to do my editing for the day. So I'm just going to get that set up. I'm just going to be working on a video that I have for next week that is going up. I need to finish editing that. First, I want to apologize if y'all can hear the rain in the background. It's kind of like getting louder, so I apologize. So before I get started, being that I'm on my computer editing a lot and I'm on my phone doing like research and stuff, I thought that it was high time that I invested in some blue light glasses. Blue light is a light that comes from a lot of digital devices like computer screens, phone screens, the TV, different things like that. But what it can do, it can damage your eyes to where like it'll cause blindness eventually. So I actually looked up a lot of different things. So basically blue light comes from your digital devices, but it also comes from the sun as well. That's why you wear sunglasses um, to help protect your eyes. It says that blue light exposure may increase the risk of macular degeneration, which is an eye disease that causes vision loss. The fact that blue light penetrates all the way to the retina, which is the inner lining of the back of your eye, it is very important because laboratory studies have shown that too much exposure to blue light can damage light sensitive cells in the retina. Blue light can also suppress the production of melatonin, which is a sleep inducing hormone. So filtering it out can also help you sleep better at night. It will also reduce digital eye strain so your eyes won't feel so tired at the end of the day. Blue light blocking glasses decreases the amount of blue light displayed on the screen of the device, kind of like sunglasses. It can ease digital eye strain, decrease your risk of 
macular degeneration, <laughs> reduce glare, and increase the clarity of your vision. I am like not a scientist or anything like that, but I was pretty much sold. Whenever I heard about these, I was just like, oh, I need to get them because I do so much work, especially now. I do so much work on my computer and on my phone. And I know personally for me, if I'm on my computer late at night trying to like get some stuff done, I found that my eyes have like literally gotten a little worse. So being that I wear glasses and have to wear contacts, I don't have 20-20 vision anyways, but I have seen a difference whenever I am wearing these glasses. It definitely, I wouldn't say it definitely helps me sleep at night because it's still, you're, you have a computer screen in front of you, but it definitely helps me not be as alert which has been great. Plus my eyes feel so much better. Like I can actually feel a difference whenever I put these on. So I got two pairs from Amazon. I got a black pair and then I also got a leopard print pair and they are just so cute. I got like the thin rimmed and they're just, they're adorable. I absolutely love these. This pair is like my favorite favorite out of the two it's so cute i mean i absolutely love it and with this kit i did get like this little card to like show the um difference like how the light actually protects it you take the card and you just put it right here and then you shine the light on it to um show the difference that it makes and then it comes with like little ipads so that you can clean your glasses so I would definitely recommend getting these. I Anytime I do work on my computer or like watch a movie or anything like that, I try to put these on to help protect my eyes so that I do not get like those dark circles and that my eyes do not get worse vision than it already has. So yeah, this video is not sponsored by them or anything, but I am really excited about these. I wanted to kind of share it and kind of make it more known. I really would recommend you getting these. And I got these on Amazon for like $20. So like $20 for two. And then you get the little eye set thing to kind of show the progress of it all. So I will link down below the specific glasses that I got. So if you are interested, you can buy that. I don't have a code or anything for you guys. I wish that I did, but I don't. Sorry about that, but I definitely would recommend doing it. Okay, so enough about the blue light glasses. I'm going to get started on editing now. So I've been editing for a while now, got a lot of stuff done on there. There's still like some work that needs to be finished, but I'm starting to get hungry. I'm going to go upstairs and give me something to eat. This is where I'm going to end this video though. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Like I said, don't forget to check out the blue light glasses. They are absolutely amazing, absolutely worth it. I love it, plus they're just so cute. They don't just come in like these, they come in so many shapes and sizes, so just go check that out. I found a whole bunch on Amazon, so you can just check that out. So yeah, thank you so much for watching you guys, and I will catch you guys next time. Bye!